hi everyone and welcome back to my channel so for today's video i'm gonna be sharing with you guys the recipe of how we make these mexican enchiladas so if you are interested just keep on watching so for our enchiladas we actually like to use potatoes and beans for the stuffing of them so here we have some beans and some potatoes and so what we're gonna just do is put them in a pot as I have the potatoes here and you're just gonna see me adding some salt to them right now while they are on the pot. So here I have the beans, which I actually already added the salt to. So I'm just gonna go ahead and turn up the heat and just let them cook. So while I have the beans and the potatoes cooking, I'm actually gonna start on everything else. So here I have some white vinegar. I'm also going to be adding some oregano to this. I have some squash, carrots, and chiles that I'm actually going to be cutting right now to go ahead and make this salsa. Here you're just going to see me peeling and cutting the squash. Then I'm going to go ahead and do everything else. But this is definitely optional. You don't need to go ahead and make this salsa. But we just like to add some vegetables um, on top of our enchiladas. And so for this, I am trying to cut everything into small pieces. So they are not too big and, you know, you don't have like big pieces of vegetables on top of your enchilada so try to cut these small if you guys actually decide to do this So here you'll see me peeling and cutting the carrots and also try to cut these into you know smaller pieces not too big and for the chiles I'm actually just gonna cut the ends of them and then just cut them in half and then just put them just like that in the pot. So here I've already cut everything. I put them in my pot and I'm just gonna grab with like my three fingers some oregano and then that's pretty much all I'm gonna put into it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add the white vinegar. So for this, just kind of put a little bit, not too much of it. Um, that way it does get some flavor in there. And then I'm also gonna be adding the water just filling it up, that way I can go ahead and put it on the stove. So now I'm gonna go ahead and start on the salsa that we actually put on top of our enchiladas. So for this salsa, all we need is some salt, some oregano, some tomatoes, and some jalapeños. So for today, I'm actually going to be using three tomatoes and once I have my tomatoes all washed and everything, 
Then I'm gonna go ahead and fill them up with water and just put them on the stove. So here is how everything is looking. So here are the beans, which actually are um, almost ready and almost done cooking. So I'm just gonna leave them for a few more minutes and then they will be done. I also have here the tomatoes in the water and I also have the vegetables with the white vinegar. So if you actually decide to use potatoes for the filling of the enchiladas, for the inside of them, um, all you pretty much have to add to the potatoes is just salt. So right now I'm gonna go ahead and just start peeling the potatoes and then I'm gonna go ahead and just smash them and add the salt. So now that the beans are all done, I'm just gonna put some in this bowl here. That way I can go ahead and just start smashing them. So now that the tomatoes are done boiling, I'm actually gonna be adding them here to the blender and start to make the salsa. I'm also going to be adding the jalapenos in here. I'm actually using three jalapenos for the salsa. I'm also adding a little bit of oregano into it and the salt. And then I'm only going to be adding about two ounces of water. So not too much water. You don't want it to be super watery. So then just go ahead and blend it all together. So now I'm gonna go ahead and start making the salsa that we actually soak our tortillas in. I'm using 11 of California peppers, one garlic clove, and some salt. So what I'm actually also gonna do here is just remove all of the seeds out from the peppers, and then I'm gonna go ahead and add them in a pot with water to go ahead and boil them. So while everything else is cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and just start cutting the cabbage. This is the cabbage that we actually add on top of the enchiladas when they are ready to be prepared. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just cut the cabbage and just make sure I go ahead and clean it with water and put it aside. So now that the California peppers are done boiling, I went ahead and just trimmed them off and this is just how they look. So now I'm going to go ahead and just start my salsa for the enchiladas. So I'm adding all of these peppers into the blender and I'm also going to be adding the one garlic clove with some salt and some water. So 
So now that everything is done, I am ready to start making the enchiladas. So here I have the chile for the tortillas. I also have the potatoes and the beans. So I'm gonna go ahead and just start making some enchiladas now. So first, we actually have to add some oil into the pot here. That way you can go ahead and just get hot and be ready for us to start making the enchiladas. So another thing that I actually like to eat our enchiladas with are sausages. So I'm just actually cutting them here and adding them to the pot because these take a little longer to go ahead and cook. So I just kind of put them aside and just be careful with the oil because it does jump everywhere. And all you need to do is just soak in the tortilla with the sauce and then add the potato or the beans, whatever you decide to use for yours and just put them into the pan here. So as you can see here guys, I finished my enchiladas, so now it's time to prepare them. So I like to start by adding the cabbage, then I put the salsa over the enchiladas, then I add the cheese on top, and remember that vegetable salsa that we made, this is what I'm actually adding now. So. Yeah, once you add this, then they are pretty much ready, but I can't eat mine without tapatio, so I have to add some on to mine. So yeah, guys, this is pretty much all you need to do to make these enchiladas. And for my sausage, I do like to add some lime to them. These are ready to eat, guys, and they are so delicious. I hope you all did enjoy this cook with me video and if you did please don't forget to go ahead and like comment and subscribe